When you're collecting data, there's a couple of things you need to think about. The range that your data will take, um, the resolution that you will measure with, uh, you need to know about the precision of your data and the interval at which you will collect data. The range is a pretty straightforward one. It's the maximum minimum. For example, in your class at school, there's a maximum minimum age. So someone might be as young as 11, but as old as 12 in a year seven class, for example. So we've got two sets of data here. We have distance and time. So the range and distance is the smallest to the largest value, five meters to 14 meters. Time is pretty straightforward. The smallest to the largest time in seconds. The resolution is the smallest change uh, or the smallest unit which you can measure. Uh, for example, cameras come in really high resolutions up to 22 megapixels or your iPhone or Blackberry cameras probably about five megapixels. So it's measuring in more detail. So all these instruments here, an ammeter, a, a meter stick and a stopwatch have a certain resolution. It's the smallest interval at which they can measure. So, for example, the meter stick can measure down to millimeters and has a resolution, therefore, of one millimeter, which is the same as 0 0.001 meters. Can you spot the one in the ammeter? It is one amp. So, if you look between, say, 15 and 20, you have these four dashes indicating 16, 17, 18, and 19 amps. So, the resolution is one amp. And on a stopwatch, it would be a hundredth of a second, 0 0.01 of a second. Precision is a word that's often used as well as resolution to describe precision of an instrument, but in this case, we're looking at precision of the data, and that is spread around the mean value. So this is a very good diagram for helping explain that. On the left-hand side, it's very precise. They're all together, but they're extremely accurate because they all hit the bullseye. In the middle, they're very precise. They're all close together, but not very accurate. And then at the end, we have low precision. They're not all together. They're all over the place and low accuracy. The interval is the quantity between the readings. So, for example, Dave measures the light intensity at different distances. The interval, the space between the readings, would simply be five centimeters. The range there would be the smallest to the largest once more, so it'd be five to 25 centimeters.